Hi guys and gals, golly gee, we're about to learn G flat major. Let's take a look at it. So first let's look in our key signature. So how many flats do we have in G flat major? Six, six, that's right. There's quite a lot, isn't there? So let's go ahead and look through them and say them. So we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. What is C flat the same note as? It is B, B natural. So a lot of times the inharmonic, if you have a flat name, it correlates to a sharp note. So for example, A flat is the same as G sharp. C flat is the same as B, not B sharp, but B, okay? Let's go ahead and finger that though. So I want you to finger the B, but I want you to say C flat, C flat, C flat. The reason is, is I don't want you to get it in your head that it's a B because there's already a B flat in the scale and we can't have two letters in the same scale. So we can't have a B flat and a B. We have a B flat and a C flat. It may seem confusing, but I promise it will make sense later. Now, if you're using the Banfu scales like we're using in this video, take a look at B flat and D flat. We're gonna be using the top fingerings on there. So make sure to circle the fingerings that are on top for those two, we'll be using those. Also, if you notice in parentheses, we have those inharmonics for the sharps. That would be the same as uh, F sharp major. We're going to be learning this as G flat major because that's a lot more common, especially in the band world. So we're just going to be talking about the flats today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Flute on your shoulder. Let's go ahead and finger and say the note names on the way up. So we have G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, E flat, F, and G flat. I had a little brain fart there. If you did do, that's okay. Good. Let's go ahead and play it. Whole notes on the way up. One, two, ready, and. Let's go ahead and finger the notes on the way down now. So flute on your shoulder. So we're going to start on top G flat, F, E flat, D flat, C flat, B flat, A flat, and G flat. Now let's go ahead and play those in whole notes on the way down. Oh, one, two, ready, and. Now let's talk about the arpeggio. So the arpeggio is the first, third, and fifth notes. So what are they in this scale? Let's go ahead and put our flute on our shoulders. We're going to finger and say them. If it helps you to circle the first, third, fifth, um, go ahead and do that or put a star by them. So let's finger and say them. So we have G flat, B flat, D flat, and then G flat at the top. Let's go ahead and play that arpeggio on the way up in whole notes. Oh, one. Two, ready, and. Great, and then now on the way down, let's put our foot on our shoulders. So on the way down, finger and say them. We have G flat, D flat, B flat and then G flat again. Now let's play it. Whole notes on the way down. Two, ready, and. Alright, 
Good job. So now a couple of tips on this scale. The first one is that with it being six flats, that can be quite overwhelming to remember all six flats. So what is there less of? Naturals. There is only one note in this scale that is not a flat. What is it? F. So for remembering through this scale, what I recommend to all my students is instead of just trying to remember all six flats, remember that the, there's one natural. So as you're going through, you know that every other note is flat except for the F. The F is the only one that is not flat, okay? So let's go ahead and do it in the all state pattern. We're gonna say and finger the note names first in the all state pattern. So half notes and quarter notes first. One, two, ready, and. G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, F, E flat, D flat, C flat, B flat, A flat, G flat, B flat, D flat, G flat, D flat, B flat, G flat. Lots of flats, right? All right, let's go ahead and play it now. Just remember, there's only one natural, F natural. One, two, ready, and. Awesome job. Now let's go ahead and crank up the tempo. So we're going to go up to 80. Remember that on C or sorry, D flat that you want to keep your flute nice and steady so that way it stays nice and balanced. Remember to tongue up and slur down and make sure that you're not breathing between every note, especially in the tongued notes. Okay? Oh, one, two, ready, and. increase the tempo up to 100. Now make sure that on that E flat that you have your index finger up. No stuffy analysis on E flat. Okay. Oh, one, two, ready. Awesome. Now let's go up to 120. Remember, good posture. Relax your arms. Keep your fingers close to the keys. A one, two, ready. Great. Now we're going to go to eighth notes. We're gonna keep the tempo, it's gonna feel the same, but I'm putting my metronome back on at 60, so that way it's quarter notes and eighth notes this time. It's gonna feel like what we just did. So first we're going to sing and finger the notes in the all state pattern with eighth notes, okay? One, two, three, and four. La, 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 la. Great job. Hopefully you're a better singer than I am. All right, let's try playing it now. Oh, one, two, three, and four. Awesome job, virtual high five. You did it, you made it to the end of the video. Keep practicing this and all the other scales and you're gonna be an awesome flutist. Bye-bye.